Hey guys, welcome back to Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays. Today I got a uh, movie from 1963, uh, 64, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a little movie called The Last Man on Earth. I hope you can see that good. It's a Vincent Price movie, and it's basically the movie that was based on Richard Matheson's story of the end of the world and there's the last man alive and he has to basically scavenge each day and night or each day to find supplies, fuel. Um, during that time he buries the dead um, from this um, plague of some sort. Uh, maybe some kind of virus um, and um, basically has to lock himself in a, his home he's lost his wife um, you know he, he was a, he's a scientist and everything he's he was working on a, uh, a a cure before all this happened and he's he's left alive I mean this story had has you know been done more or less a few times. Um, I Am Legend with Will Smith was a kind of a direct, you know, remake or a, or a new version of the story, Richard Matheson's story. Um, even movies like um, oh, the, Char the Charlton Heston movie, um, the Omega Man, uh, which is a maybe a more updated version at that time, done in 1973, 74, somewhere in there, and uh, which is you know it's kind of got that funky vibe of the 70s going on. But but th with this one, you know, it's shot in black and white. Um, you can tell it was done overseas in Italy on the cheap. Um, but it really has atmosphere to it. It has the black and white photography. It has, you know, Vincent Price is excellent in it as usual. He brings something to this story. Um, makes a believability of it as you watch it. And you know, it's, you know, even though it was done on the on the on a cheaper budget, you know, he brings a lot of credibility to the story. Um, which you know gives it its impact and stuff. It's got a great musical score, and um, you know the photography is pretty good and the direction and everything. Um, so yeah, it, it's a great story. I mean, in, in these times we're living in now, with you know a virus that's killing people, and we have to wear masks and sanitize everything, and we're worried about our children and everything, you know, watching movies like this, some people might be like, I don't want to watch that, that's too close to home, but um, I guess I'm a fan of the sci-fi, classic sci-fi and horror movies, um, which, you know, for an hour and a half it's a good escape, you know, I mean, could our world be become that, I mean, when he wrote Richard Matheson, uh, wrote this story I and mean, wasn't predicting the future. Um, you know. But yeah, it's it's a great movie. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, Rich uh, Vincent Price and the movies he did at American International, especially his uh, Roger Corman, Edgar Allan Poe movies, and Edgar Allan Poe um, ones he did. You know. From I think sixty one through sixty, he was still making him at the, at this time that this was made. Um, so he was kind of on a on a hot streak, so to speak. But um, American International, um, you know, was releasing released this and you know the other titles and stuff. So they were known be kind of cheap, you know, but they, they had some quality work, 
And when they got Vincent Price to appear in a lot of these stories, Roger Corman got him, and, and, the, peer, and the producers got him to appear in these uh, movies, it really gave American International a credibility, you know, and they were uh, very, very pop, uh, profitable um, with uh, movie-going audiences. They really came out to see these movies. Um, I want to say co-starring in this movie, uh, Franca ben Ventoya, Emma Daninelli, Giacomo Ro Rossi Stewart. Um, it was directed by Sidney uh, Sokol, 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 um, and uh, so yeah, I mean it's based on I Am Legend, the, the story and everything. It's real good, it's got a lot of atmosphere and everything, and I just wanted to kind of spotlight it. I was thinking about this the other morning, I got up and reading the news and watching the news and you know, I try not to watch the news a lot. I just try to maybe touch base here and there just to see what's going on in the world. Um, and I've instantly thought of this movie. And I thought, you know, I'm going to get this movie out and make a short video about it. So, yeah, it, it's pretty cool. Um, and another movie I recommend is The Omega Man to go with this. And a lot of times I, I include so Soylent Green, even though it has nothing to do with these two, but it has Charlton Heston, and this was you know, made during that time period. You know, he made Omega Man and stuff. So it, it's like there's a handful of good movies, kind of the end of the world type movies and stuff. So, um, yeah, so I recommend this movie, The Last Man on Earth. It's in the public domain, so you're going to see a lot of crack copies out there and I'm sure you can find it on YouTube for free but this is uh, the edition I have is from MGM UA and this was a this was released in 2007 I think previously it had been released on MGM UA at the Midnight Movies uh, collection they had that released a bunch of other Vincent Price movies um, uh, which I, I did a video in the past of Vincent Price uh, movies that I have. I know most of them were Midnight, the Midnight movie series. So uh, there you go. Highly recommend this movie. Um, I recommend finding a good print of it. That's why you know this MGM UA one is a really decent print. Um, it's sad that it's in the public domain, but you know when you let the copyright expire, it goes into the public domain so there you go guys so last man on earth from vincent price 1964 <sighs> what can i say it's great um and um what did you think about it give give us some comments give me some comments uh what you thought about the movie and the the uh remakes afterwards the other interpretation so anyways if you haven't already subscribed subscribe and you'll and hit the bell so you're notified when I drop a video you'll be first to know be notified and uh, like I said comment and uh, just give a thumbs up if, if you're if you're ever so led to do just give me a thumbs up would be excellent I thank all my subscribers, new and old. Um, thank you for tuning in and supporting my channel. Um, I am a work in progress, guys. Um, um, I, I watch a lot of good um, Blu-ray people out there and Blu-ray and DVD collection people doing videos and stuff. And there's a lot of good guys out there um, and gals. Um, we. There, there's no, there's a very supportive community. There's a, I mean, there is, you know, you, sometimes you feel like, oh man, I gotta try to do the best I can and stuff, but I know, you know, the community is large and accepting and, you know, I'm sure there's gonna be some competitiveness in there, but I, I really support all of the guys and gals that are doing videos and stuff. And there's some really good ones out there and, uh, and if I could ever be so humble to, to one day I'll be 
a little bit better in, in speaking to you and presenting things to you, um, but I, I do just want to, want to say thank you. Thank you for supporting me and watching. Uh, and uh, until next time, guys, I'm Mike, and watch good movies, and I'll see you later.